Good morning, good morning to you all. How are you all doing? See on the happy new month, happy new month, everyone. Jesus loves you. Welcome to our Absolute of Realities. Today is Monday, 3rd of July. This is my month, 2023. And today's topic is Triumphant in Adversities. Praise the Lord. So before we start this morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We bless you at all time. We give you all the praise for who you are. We appreciate you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your help in every area of our lives. Thank you for this God dream. Thank you for making it possible. Thank you for your word you're about to receive. Thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. And today is... Um, Monday told and today's topic is triumphant in adversity is Romans 8 35 to 37 says who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us that's Romans 8 35 to 37 Sometimes when people give their hearts to Christ, they assume they aren't supposed to face adversities or persecutions. But the Bible says, count it all joy when you go through diverse tests. James 1 2. Tests, trials, and persecution are all part of the package. Never be flustered by them because you are more than a conqueror. You are a veto in Christ Jesus. The devil will try to sway you or throw that at you. He may throw around, seeking whom he may devour. But the word tells you what to do. Resist him with your feet. Ephesians 6, 6, Ephesians 6, 16 says to use the same feet. Your shield of faith to neutralize and extinguish Satan's fiery that. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery that of the wicked. We are not on the defensive, but on the offensive against Satan and his God of darkness. We are adequately fortified against their onslaught and have dominion over them whether the principally is powers or the rulers of the darkness of this world they are subject to you in the name of jesus keep living in the victory of christ dominate your world dominate your environment and give satan no chance the bible tells us in ephesians 4 27 to give no place to the devil Remember, Jesus gave us power to cast out devils. Therefore, use the authority in his name and subdue the evil and wicked one. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. That is what Jesus said to do. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my nature, the cast out devil. Mark 16, 17. This is the first of the things he said we could do in his name. Praise God hallelujah what a wonderful topic to start our beautiful week triumphant in adversity what a wonderful wonderful what this place is helping us to understand is that as born, born again christian we are victorious mm. we have all the supplies we need we are daily loaded through the word of God and through the Holy Spirit that lives and abides in us. So we shouldn't be afraid of, of adversities. Praise the Lord. Because when you are born again, you will face with challenges because Satan is not happy. So he, he will come for your faith, for what you believe. So many tests and so many trials. But we, that is why the Bible pre prepared you. That is why God gave you the admonition. And that is where you've put your feet to walk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
we as a born again Christian, we should be happy that trials are there because it makes you to be strong in the Lord, it makes you to be strong in your faith and what you believe in. Praise the Lord. And that is why the Bible says in Mark 16 17, it says, And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast. The power is given to us already. All we have to do is utilize it to our advantage. We shouldn't be afraid of Satan. Something happened, you're thinking of Satan too much. No, 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 no. Satan should be the one worried about us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, with that being said, let's take the confessions together. I have the bitter authority over principally is powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual forces of evil in the evil realms. I dominate my word and frustrate the tokens of the adversary. His stratagems and maneuvers by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. For that study, you can look at 1 Peter 5, verse 8 to 9, Ephesians 6, 14 to 18. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3 to 4. 1 Bible read the plan. Acts 16, verse 16 to 40. In Job 1 to 2. 2 Bible read the plan. Luke 6, 20 to 38. And the true name of one. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. What a wonderful topic we had this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. From Him, and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible, get to know who God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faith-filled messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship there as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a great time we had. And if this is your first time of coming to my channel, and if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so. So every time I upload a video, you'll be first to notify. And please share this video. God bless you. So before we go, let's pray together. Our everlasting King of glory, we bless you. We honor you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your word that we have received this morning. Indeed, we are blessed by your word. Thank you for multiplication in our lives. Thank you for making today a success. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys. You have a great and wonderful day. I will see you sometime tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.